It's your fifth time here at the Jazz Fest. Um, how would you des describe your relationship with the Festival International de Jazz Montréal? Um, I think the reason I keep coming back here is because, well, because I'm invited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky enough to travel all over the world to jazz festivals, and you know, there's a reason why this is considered one of the great of the world, not just jazz, but uh, music festivals, because there is so much uh, heart here. Um, there is a, a, just a sense that the music takes over the entire city. Uh, it is inclusive. There's a, a huge free aspect to it. You have the, the best of jazz, you have the best of music, you have up and coming, uh, you have a, a, a festival programmers that take risks and I think you'll notice that musicians come here, they don't come here and do the gig and then leave straight away. They tend to have a day before and a day after just to hang out. You meet other musicians here, collaborations are born here. Um, and Montreal's a cool city to hang out in, you know, it's, it's as you know. Um, so for me, it's just a pleasure. It's just a, a pleasure to come here. And I, I, I hope my sincerity uh, is, is considered as truthful because I, I really, it's just, it's a, It feels like a holiday coming here. Jimmy, uh, let's go uh, in the past. Um, you produced your first album. You were uh, 19 years old, 20 years old, early 20 years old, I think. When did you decide to become a jazz singer? I don't think I ever decided. Um, I, I was, in my teenage years, I was just enthralled to music, really. Um, I was a fan of music. I was, I was the kid with the backpack and the records, and I just loved music. I loved You know, I loved heavy metal music, I loved rock music, I loved hip-hop music, I loved electronic music. I had an interest in music from the past. Uh, I was really getting into books and film and just kind of culture in general. And I wasn't really a musician at that time. Um, but I started trying to learn tunes on the guitar because my brother was playing and it just seemed like a cool thing to do to play the guitar. And eventually I, we had a piano in the house and I started working things out. And I guess the thing I noticed was that I had a good ear quite quickly, so I could learn things I could hear quite easily. So, although I didn't study music, um, I did put a lot of time into trying to learn things that I heard. I think the jazz side of things, being a jazz singer, really chimed with me because I loved the spirit of improvisation. I loved the culture that it was all connected to, the, the African-American culture, the 1940s and 50s America. Um, The literature was connected to Jack Kerouac, the, the fact that there was loads of jazz in Woody Allen films. Um, I loved film noir, all the you know, French New Wave cinema. Um, it just ticked all the boxes for me. So it was almost like I, I fell in love with the idea of and the iconography of jazz almost before I became the musician that I became. What would the um, old Jimmy Collin, if he can go back in the past, will tell to the young Jimmy Collin that started his career 17 years ago? Um, I think, I think it would be to just make sure you never lose the the excitement and the the childlike enthusiasm for playing. One of the great things about touring and playing festivals like this is that you're always faced with musicianship that makes you just fall on the floor and go, "I've got a long way to go," and that happens every day. Every day I'm I, doing the radio show, watching other people play. I'm just in awe of musicians and great musicians and. It reminds you that the joy is in the making and the joy is in the, the studying and the, and the listening and trying to incorporate that in your own work. But just that, it's the thrill of the chase. It's the, it's the thrill of the moment. And jazz music particularly reminds you of that all, all the time.